Hello you guys, welcome to my kitchen. I am Tabitha Blue and we are cooking up something so delicious today. We are getting into the spring summer season. We've officially hit spring. And so on the sunny days, which we don't actually have today, but on those sunny days, it makes it feel like we're already getting into that barbecue season and something oh, that's like that quintessential summer barbecue item are ribs. So that's what we are making today. Now, I have to say, unless you have a smoker or time to really babysit ribs, well, they don't always turn out tender and juicy like you really want them to be. So we are whipping them up, I guess making them really easily in the crock pot today. So if you've been around for a little while, you know I kind of have been doing this live crock pot cooking series where I'm just showing you what I'm throwing in the crock pot and what makes it delicious. Now, we like to stock up on stuff from Omaha Steaks. I've talked about that before. This last month we ordered a rib package, so that's why I'm showing you how we make ribs really easily in the crock pot, in the slow cooker, without taking all of that time to babysit them. Um, so you can check out those packages. We also ordered our stuff for Easter up there, so you can check that out as well. But also something I do talk about is meal planning, because that's what makes it easier for big families like ours. We have eight people in our house, and so meal planning makes getting meals on the table easier for us. So we have downloads that make it easier for you too on our blog, on freshmommyblog.com. You can check that out, download those meal planning guides for free, and help get your meal planning off to a good start. So like today, we are making a barbecue platter. So ribs from Omaha Steaks are just a part of it. And we're gonna add so many good things and I'll share that with you later. But let me just show you how we get it going in the crock pot. So I've got some thawed ribs right here. I'm just gonna add a little bit of um, pepper, salt, rub that in. I also, with ribs comes this sweet, smoky apple wood rub. Um, now I have my hands kind of all messy, but ah, hey babe, can you? Open? Oh, never mind, I got it. <laughs> there we go. All right, so we're gonna add this in. I'll get a towel. I'm gonna clean up my hands here. Okay, so we're gonna add this rub to our ribs because I do like to put sauce on them while they're cooking, but not a ton. We like to add more of it later on as well. Um, you know, like just make them tender juicy and then and have the sauce but then also have more sauce on the side for dipping right that's how we like ours which which one is it is it the we've traveled a lot and tried ribs different places and i think it's what is it tennessee ribs that come with like lighter sauce but then you can just dip till your heart's content that might be it <laughs> something like that um all right so we are getting this wrap on the ribs this is how easy it is, you guys. We're just gonna put some of the seasoning on, rub it in, and now the tip for making them in your slow cooker. You put them in, kind of like standing up on the side, like this. So we are just gonna set these in the slow cooker, like this, that's it, standing up. Here we go, and another set right here. Okay, we are gonna let them cook standing up, um, it's gonna cook uh, on high for four hours or on low for eight hours. We like to do the on high for four hours. Um, and then also I have this barbecue sauce from Omaha Steaks. You can use your favorite, whatever one is your favorite. This is also that sweet and smoky sauce that kind of goes along with that rub really well. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here, but now that the ribs are in here standing up already, we're gonna pour the sauce on top and just kind of let it fall down like the back side and the front side a little bit. So again, what we're doing here is getting them coated in sauce, but not drowning in sauce. So it's gonna have that nice flavor, super tender, juicy, delicious, um, but not so coated that, I don't know, it's just like, completely drowned in sauce. So let's see if you can see it here. We've got it on the top, the sauce is right on the top and it's dripping down. That's it. We're gonna put the lid on, let the slow cooker do all the hard work for us. I'm turning mine on high, four hours on high or so. Basically it's when they're pretty much tender and falling off the bone. <laughs> go right over there. 
Um, and then we're gonna gently pull those out because um, they are gonna be cooked up nice and tender. I will show you this barbecue platter later, but this is a really delicious part of it. So again, if you wanna add ribs to your menu, your meal planning, you can download our meal plan. Um, you can get ribs wherever your favorite place is. Ours is Omaha Steaks because it comes right to the door. We put it in the freezer until we're ready to use it, you know, thawed out the day before. And these are gonna cook up so delicious. And again, we don't have to babysit a smoker. If you have one, more power to you. We don't. <laughs> um, what do you wanna say? Bye. Yes, so I will share that platter with you guys later. But thanks for joining us today here in my kitchen. I'll see you next time.